Hey everyone! Today we're exploring Isla Mujeres. Right off the coast of Cancun in the Caribbean Sea, Isla Mujeres is this cool little island that's super easy to fall in love with. It's got a name that means Island of Women. Pretty intriguing, right? We'll circle back to that story in a bit. Imagine you're stepping into a place where the bright blue Caribbean Sea meets ancient Mayan secrets, all wrapped up in the cozy feel of island life. That's Isla Mujeres, a little slice of paradise. The island is relatively small, measuring about seven kilometers or four miles long and 650 meters or a third of a mile wide, making it easy to explore. Despite its size, Isla Mujeres boasts an impressive array of attractions and activities for visitors. Isla Mujeres is all about those chill vibes and relaxation. Imagine spending your day swaying in a hammock, sipping your margarita, feeling the sea's gentle breeze on your skin, or maybe getting a rejuvenating massage right on the beach. And the beaches, wow, there's something else. Playa Norte is this incredible spot with clear turquoise water and soft white sand. It's exactly where you want to be for that sun and sea fix. How do you get to Isla Mujeres? The quickest route is via Ultramar Ferries from Cancun. If you're starting off in Cancun, catch a taxi or bus to the Puerto Juarez Ferry Terminal. Once you're there, head over to the Ultramar Ferry Dock to buy your tickets. You can't miss it. Their logo and boats are painted in vibrant yellow and blue. Ferries depart every 30 minutes, starting at the crack of dawn at 5.30 a.m. and continue until 2 p.m., after which they leave every hour. The journey is a breeze, lasting only about 18 to 20 minutes, and tickets cost around $16 for a one-way trip. While tickets are non-refundable, they're flexible and valid for six months for any day or time on the same route. Also, Ultramar offers services directly from Cancun's hotel zone to Isla Mujeres. The price remains the same, though there are fewer departures. You can catch the ferry from either Playa Tortugas or Playa Caracol in the hotel zone. And there's no need to worry about missing your ride. The Ultramar ferries are hard to miss, being three stories tall and capable of carrying a large number of passengers. Another option for ferry service from Cancun to Isla Mujeres is provided by the Eshkeret Group. Eshkeret's ferries set off hourly from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. from their terminal, Embarcadero Isla Mujeres, conveniently located at the start of the Cancun Hotel Zone. While their fares are a tad higher than Ultramar's, the tickets also come with the flexibility of an open date, remaining valid for six months from the purchase date. The journey from Cancun to Isla Mujeres takes slightly longer with Eshkeret, about 20 to 30 minutes. Choosing Eshkeret's ferry service comes with a pleasant perk. You can gain free access to the Eshkeret Scenic Tower. Just show your ferry ticket and you're in. Located right at the terminal's entrance, the tower offers stunning panoramic views of the Cancun Hotel Zone. Another great option is to book a day cruise to Isla Mujeres. These trips are a blast, taking you out on gorgeous catamarans for a day packed with exciting activities like snorkeling and sailing. And get this, they usually offer an open bar and a buffet lunch right on Isla Mujeres. Talk about a treat. Just don't forget your sunblock. You might not get tons of time to wander the island, but if you've only got a day to check out Isla Mujeres, this is a pretty awesome way to do it. We've personally tried a catamaran tour offered by the Eshkeret Group, and it was a blast. We even made a video reviewing our experience, complete with all the details, stunning views, and our thoughts. Feel free to check it out. The link will be in the description below. There is plenty to do on Isla Mujeres. Whether you just want to relax or have an adventure, you're sure to find something amazing to do. Here are some of our favorite recommendations. For those of you craving some downtime, Isla Mujeres has got your back. You can easily spend your day swinging in a hammock at one of the many beach clubs, 
taking a dip in the stunning sea, enjoying a cool drink served in a coconut, or receiving a massage at a beachside pop-up. The options for relaxation by the shore are limitless. Playa Norte is the island's most famous beach, known for its pristine white sands and crystal clear waters. It frequently appears on lists of the best beaches in the Caribbean. We believe it outshines the beaches in Cancun's hotel zone by a long shot. The calm waters, ample shade, and numerous palm trees make it ideal. Plus, there's no shortage of bars and restaurants where you can grab a cold beer and soak up the breathtaking views. And trust us, the views are something else. If you're in the mood for some adventure, Isla Mujeres has plenty to offer as well. Beyond just soaking up the sun and enjoying the waves, the island is a prime spot for snorkeling and scuba diving. A must-see is the Underwater Museum of Art, located near the island's southern tip. Here, you can explore hundreds of submerged statues that serve both as art and artificial reefs. For those who prefer staying above water, Isla Mujeres is perfect for kayaking and paddleboarding. And don't miss out on the chance to zip around the island in a golf cart. It's a fun and popular way to see the sights. Thinking about exploring Isla Mujeres? You can't miss the Punta Sur area at the island's southern tip. It's a stunning mix of scenic beauty and historical depth, featuring a park with walking trails, contemporary Mayan sculptures, and ancient Mayan temple ruins. The panoramic sea views give you a real sense of the island's rich past amidst its natural beauty. Here, you're literally walking among historical ruins, dramatic cliffs, and serene trails, a perfect spot for those looking to connect with both the island's history and its breathtaking landscapes. Getting to Punta Sur is an adventure all its own. Renting a golf cart lets you see the island at your own pace. And for around $50 for the day, you can drive around, snapping perfect selfies, and taking in all the sights. Just remember to bring your driver's license and watch out for pedestrians. We totally suggest grabbing a golf cart for island exploration. It's a blast. Down in Punta Sur, besides the incredible vistas, you'll come across local vendors selling beautiful handmade items and plenty of seashells. It's an ideal spot for a quick visit, offering numerous photo-worthy locations. A small heads up, there's a 10 pesos charge for using the restrooms. However, for a small entrance fee of about $6 to the park area with the ruins, you gain access to an easy-to-walk trail that winds past cultural and historical sites, including a Mayan ruin. It's a great way to dive deeper into the island's heritage. More than 1,500 years ago, Isla Mujeres held great significance for the Mayan people as a sacred site dedicated to Ixchel, the goddess of the moon, water, fertility, and medicine. The island boasted a temple that doubled as a lighthouse, where torches shone through the walls to guide sailors. Beyond its spiritual significance, the island was also a hub for salt harvesting. Discovered by Francisco Fernandez de Córdoba in 1517, there are tales that the island was inhabited solely by Ischel's priestess, her devotees, 
and numerous statues of the goddess, inspiring its name, Isla Mujeres, or the Island of Women. Fascinatingly, this location marks the easternmost point in Mexico. There's an adventurous walking trail available, featuring some steep stairs and areas without railings. We managed just fine, though, and were rewarded with stunning views that were absolutely worth the effort. This is a must-visit spot on the island. It took us about 25 minutes to reach by golf cart, and it was well worth both the journey and the entrance fee. The views are spectacular. As the sun sets, Avenida Miguel Hidalgo transforms into the vibrant heart of Isla Mujeres. This lively street becomes the epicenter of island life, brimming with an eclectic mix of shops, vendors, restaurants and bars, capturing the true essence of the island's vibe. Isla Mujeres caters to a wide range of tastes with its culinary offerings. From beachside shacks serving fresh seafood to sophisticated dining experiences offering international cuisine, Person. <laughs> the island's laid-back atmosphere makes it a perfect getaway for those looking to escape the bustle of Cancun or other more crowded destinations. Strolling down Avenida Miguel Hidalgo is the best way to immerse yourself in the island's vibrant nightlife. While dining here might be a tad pricier due to its popularity among tourists, the exceptional food and the charming ambience of the narrow island streets make it totally worth it. It's the perfect way to wrap up a day in Isla Mujeres. It's very cold, tropical drinks. Very good. Isla Mujeres is a captivating blend of tranquil beaches, rich history, and lively cultural avenues, providing a perfect getaway for any type of visitor. Whether you're in search of adventure, tranquility, or a deep dive into local culture, this island promises a memorable experience. Despite its growing popularity, Isla Mujeres has preserved its charming small-town vibe, complete with welcoming locals and a laid-back lifestyle. It's this unique blend of natural beauty, rich culture, and warm hospitality that makes Isla Mujeres a beloved destination for travelers from around the world. Thanks for joining us on this journey through Isla Mujeres. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more travel stories it will mean the world to us. Until our next adventure, keep exploring, dreaming, and uncovering the incredible wonders our planet has to offer.